Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. Uh, we are almost there. Financial compensation is 49.53. 49.53. So almost 100% right of our capability of exports has now been achieved. Uh, and basically, it looks like, to me anyway, that 100% of exports is basically the number of batteries we have here. So we fill all of these batteries, we max out our exports for the day. Now, currently, we're using 500 units of power, and our power production is 1175 during the night. So we have access power to go. But if we fill all these batteries every day, we'll be able to, we're going to rock and roll here on the power exports. And uh, we're up to 5,000 cash flow. Very good, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and spend a little bit more on just one more uh, wind uh, combo unit here, right here, how to do it. And the reason I'm doing that really is just all about getting it to actually be 5,000. But we just got green energy goal completed. And now the negative events uh, negative effects of weather are halved and the positive effects are doubled. So actually, we really don't even need that anyway, because that right there is going to take care of our power exports like way, way faster now. We're going to be producing even more. Um, so just you, you saw how much we were producing before. It was like 1175, I think it was. All of a sudden now we're producing 1450 just because of that grant. So we have instead of having 666, six, six, I think is what it was, excess power, now it's 941. Um, so that's going to help us even more. And actually, because of that, I'm starting to think actually that this can actually get rid of this. I'm starting to think this is a maxed out grid for this particular transformer. Because, again, remember, the transformers, I don't believe, can receive any more than 5,000 units of power. I don't think so anyway. So I want to say that this is a maxed out transformer, and we can start our grid elsewhere for the next transformer um, when we start expanding ourselves out and doing other things. I want to say that that's how that works, uh, but I don't know. And since I already paid for it, I suppose I'll just install it anyway because it's already paid for. So we'll just put it in there anyway. And let's get the electrical down to like that. Okay, so we'll have them put that in and that'll take care of all of our power export needs. So we are looking at currently goal six, eight, and nine is all we have left. And basically nine, we're almost half done with it anyways. The output of all green power sources is gonna be increased by a factor of two. That's gonna double the output of every single piece. We can then distribute what we've already spent and we can distribute it to another transformer then because at that point we absolutely will be producing too much um, and it won't matter. So we're gonna, we're gonna start producing more than we can use at this time. Um, taking a look at the energy goal eight objective, Player must not use a power station for 10 days in game. So that's only got seven hours left. And at that point, we're going to be given one green energy source of each type delivered for free. So we're, we're basically good on power. We don't have to do anything with power for quite a while. Uh, other than adding another transformer, which I'll probably do over here. And then this one will power pretty much this entire facility here. And then whatever this one was is will produce all the power for the rest of the facilities here. Um, so that, that's going to be pretty easy to do. Um, it's just about basically moving uh, a lot of the uh, power cables around and reconnecting new ones to different, the different transformers and stuff from that point. We'll see how much we're outputting uh, during the day here. But once our output is doubled, that is... Um, well, we're, we're, we're definitely going to see too much power being produced here, I think. All right. So today's video, what I wanted to do, right, is the criminally insane wing. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We're going to increase our bank loan. I think I'm going to need, let's say, 50K. And we're going to start with the foundation for this. And let's... I may need to go bigger than this, but for the time being, we'll just go here and here. For now, that's going to be where we build. And I think to get people as an entrance to this, uh, well, we're allowed to go back here. Staff can go this way. Why don't we, uh, why don't we go ahead and just put a little gate here so they can go in through here. And then we'll also go ahead and put a staff door in temporarily right here. So staff can get in and out on this side and they can go ahead and do their thing without having to worry about the gates. I also want to get, I, I thought about having prisoners work this, but now I'm thinking that it's going to be our farmer's job. But I think what we'll do here is we're going to have flower gardens right here. 
just for looks, I think. The, the thing is, the flower gardens aren't really useful for anything, right? I don't think you can export flowers. I, I don't know that. I, I'm just I'm just guessing that I can't. Also, can I store any more batteries here? I think I can on this side. And probably not. Actually, this might be the maximum batteries we can have. Yeah. I think that actually is the maximum we can have on batteries. So maximum battery is 5,000 units of power, and that's also the maximum export. So what we're going to want to do is if we want to export any more power. Actually, I don't think we can. I think that's the maximum. The percentile bonus to reformation rates for completing the program will be increased. Uh, okay, yeah. Have the solar development program. We got to work on that too. But we're going we're gonna to get this taken care of first. And then for solar development program, I'm actually tempted to sort of build it uh, maybe... I was going to say maybe build it over here in place of this yard. Because the yard's pretty big. Um, we might be able to get away with it being like right here. And then, you know, prisoners can come through here. And then over into the area here and take their course. And that would be where we have our reformation. I think that's probably an okay idea. Why don't we go ahead and do that? We're going to move these benches. I wasn't planning on this initially, but I think I am. And I, I might be able to afford it right away. For, for now, we'll just move the benches. I, I, but I think we'll be able to afford it with the current loan uh, the way it is. And then advanced farming is 47% done. We have to hire two psychiatrists as well as intaking enough prisoners. Do we have, uh, we have enough? 28. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and take... We're going to take, I think, eight. We might as well just take all 10 today. We're going to bring in 10 criminally insane today. They're going to be in a holding cell. Uh... And then, you know what? No, no, I'm not. It's that's gonna invite too much chaos. Let's um, for the time we're gonna close intake for the time being. That's gonna once this is almost done, and we're gonna have its own its own, its own uh, kitchen and then it's it, everything. It, I think this is we just wait. There's no reason to invite that kind of chaos. These are hooked up now, and we'll see a yield on these in two hours. Look at this. Oh. They're going to be ready to harvest in a couple hours. We're going to see it happen. Unless I miss it, which is very possible. Actually, with a number of... Oh, let's do this. Again. Because I can. Because I can. Because I'm pretty sure I can afford it. Will I regret it? Eh, maybe. Oop. There it is. Oh, it ran too early. It ran too early. That's one of the risks. You know, these things go off every six hours, I think. And it just it just became ripe. So the next time this thing runs, it will uh, it'll go ahead and do this. And I want to say crops that are um, in range of these are automatically not being marked to, to harvest. So you can see how this one is not being marked to harvest as a to-do list item. But this one is because there's no harvester in, in range. So I want to say that anything that's in this green area, your staff and your prisoners will not be marked to, uh, to harvest it. It's going to allow the harvesters to take care of it. Now, I don't know how the levels of contraband in my prison are out of control because like, I just did a shakedown yesterday. So I don't know. Uh, we're going to need a couple more orderlies, I think, here. So why don't we just hire... A few more. That should be good for the number that we're gonna have. Uh, that's just, like good, good for the number we're going to have, not just the number we have now. Um, but we absolutely want orderlies to be assigned in here pretty regularly, and then also, mm, I think during we, everyone has the same eat time right now, which is also a kind of a weird thing to do. I don't think I want that. Why don't we have eat time for criminally insane be here? And then, uh, also, there's only one eat time here, which is a pretty big problem. Let's do this instead. Um, we'll do eat time here, and then lock up here. Here. Uh, programs lock up, actually, would be better. And then uh, we can do programs lock up here and here. Yeah, maybe maybe programs free time. Yeah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do it like this instead. At least then the they're not scheduled to eat at the same time. I think my concern here 
is the prisoners will go to the yard while these guys are eating, and then these guys will leave, hopefully leave this direction, while the rest of the prisoners are coming in from this direction. So there's like a cycle here that hopefully they don't get interfered, or they don't interfere with each other, but we'll see. See how it goes. So a big area being built over here. We got lots of different cells that we're going to plan out. So let's let's plan those for a little bit, actually. So I think uh, I kind of don't want people to be able to dig very easily. So I'm going to try a different approach to cells this time around. And um, we're going to put the cells right here in the middle and have all the extra stuff all on the outside. Just to see how that goes. So to do that, and, and then this is all going to get torn down too. So we need to consider what this is going to look like without these lines being drawn, like, or adhering to these lines, potentially. Um, so maybe we take away these lines, but we leave this uh, little hallway here, because I want maybe our kitchen staff to be able to come in here. We'll probably have this be our canteen. So that means if this is the canteen, then we'll have our cells, probably, let's say, um, maybe we start at, like, I don't know, here. Is it nine? Yeah, nine by... I forget what the measurement is. Let's do 9 by 22. And then also we'll do a little bit more like here. I think it's 9. Uh, no, I, I know it's 9, but I think it's um, divisible by this way. I forget. But anyway, we're going to go down the middle here. And this is going to give us our 3 by 2s. And then we're just going to kind of do this. These are individual cells for criminally insane. Right? So we're kind of playing this out. Okay, so it's a little... Not quite divisible, but that's okay. We can go further this direction. Okay, and then we can go maybe one more this direction too. Okay, so these are... Whoops. Too far. So these are our cells that we're going to have. Just in the middle. Pretty easy to do. Um, and then we can have all the extra stuff on the outside. So we can have... You know, their common area where they can get exercise, whatever. We've got a yard area where they can, um, you know, have free time, common room stuff. Um, I want to see about maybe in this area would be general services. So we might do another like laundry room here, for example. Um, I don't think. I'm not sure. We may we may be using too much space. I may I may need to go from this side. So one, two, three wall so this would this would leave this much room which is great a, th a three by three is good space so i might be able to put cells along this side too um and then if i wanted to be really cramped here uh we could also put cells right here if necessary but i don't think it'll be necessary what i think i'd rather do here is in this area we could have this sort of be like a dorm area if i know dorms right i get it um but a big dorm area here might not be such a bad idea just not on this side because this is where the offices are so it'd be end up being here uh no because this is where i wanted my canteen and stuff we'll see we'll let this go um i'm gonna do these cells but maybe not this area yet but these cells here will get built and uh then we'll kind of go from there see how it goes we got an early prisoner release. That's good. I may be able to pay off half my loan right now. Mm, not yet. On the intake. If I was going to intake, I will intake tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to bring in the 10. So we'll bring in 10 criminally insane tomorrow. That will take care of this requirement. This wing will be done. And then we'll just hire one more psychiatrist, which we're going to have an office for him right here. In fact, we're going to have three offices, and uh, we'll have two psychiatrists and a spare office and so we can hire a third, but at least the space for one. Uh, and I want the psychiatrist offices to be bigger than this because there's a lot of things we can put in there that improve their performance, right? Upgrade their uh, abilities by putting extra items in. So, uh, and But we need to have a certain number of consultations before we can do that. If you're not familiar with how criminally insane work in the game, it's... Uh, like this, if I zoom in here, we can see that the leather sofa, medicine cabinet, Rorschach test, flipboard, and anatomy models, they all have improved office grades for the psychiatrists. And um, they, they increase their, um, they increase their abilities by reducing the amount of 
um, reducing the rate at which these guys become uncomfortable. So you can kind of see how these bars fill up. As they fill up, they become even more irate and uh, they tend to act up and, and do bad things. And um, we want them to be calm, right? If I click this guy, I don't need to click him actually. If I just hover over him, I think we should be able to see it on a hover. Uh, I think you actually have to do it during a session to see it on hover. Yeah, I think so. So th the next time, oh, we'll see it on a hover. If they ever have another, whenever we get and get another uh, appointment, we'll we'll see how that works. Uh, and then I think this holding cell isn't that bad, but it's gonna have to go. We'll put the radiator. Um, we can set it down here for now. Assuming that this is close enough to... Here we go. Yeah. So we're going to bring this... Uh, I think we bring it straight up from here. I don't mind bringing it straight up from here. But we need it to come over that way, at least, for the radiator. All the way in the corner, I guess. Since this is going to be the canteen, we're going to want to make sure that it's warm. Uh, and this radiator will take care of the temperature requirements inside this room for the time being. But we're going to also need to cater to the cell block as well. So that's what this is being brought up for. Okay. With all of these being done, we've got a couple of issues. Uh, a lot of these issues relate to where the lights are placed. And I, they'll get taken down and we'll have to put them back. But since they're not placed yet... Oh, and you took all of them away? You suck. Okay. I didn't know that was going to happen. That was a little weird. But fair enough. Uh, we'll just uh, go where the lights are. And we're going to place them in the cells. And I think we'll place them, like, maybe right above the bed. So we'll say that the beds are going to be here, let's say. And uh, we actually don't need to place this many. We're just going to build two cells and then copy it over. So um, we'll go with a... I think we'll maybe do a comfy bed. Mm, no, nah, standard beds are fine. So we'll do a bed there and a bed there. Then we'll do toilets uh, here and here to simplify our plumbing line them up um we're gonna want to give them some things that make them not freak out uh let's go psych ward no that's it that's all you're gonna that's all you're gonna give me huh okay never mind where is like all the stuff that provides additional comfort for cells here let's try this we're gonna do padded cell here and here and then the walls I'm going to go straight through here, like this, like this, like this, like this. Uh, let's put the door on that side. All right. So now that we're over padded cells, you're going to give me different objects now. Comfy bed, and that's it. Really? What happened to, like, the pet bird and all that stuff? Is that included for transfer? I don't think so. I don't know. Pipes. Decoration? Huh. I could have swore that it would be maybe just miscellaneous? Bird. Yeah, pet bird. Use the search bar, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> There's that. Uh, pet bird. That's what I was looking for. Because it makes them calm. It gives them a pet. It gives them something to talk to in their cells. Nice. Um, then I want to give them sh individual showers as well, so they don't have to deal with each other. So we're going to do that, um, I think, right in front of the cell door. And I, I realize I'm going to get this comment. Um, the threes! <laughs> um, but I'm not going to do it with these guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, and if, if you know, you know. And if you don't, well, then you don't. If somebody really wants to know what the threes, quote unquote, are, uh, the triple threat, <laughs> if you really want to know what it is, uh, just ask in the, and I, we'll see if anyone from the community can answer it for you. Because I think that that's the best way to go about it is let other people take, take over and do my work for me. <laughs> um, we'll do lights every, let's say one, every third cell. Seems like a decent way to divide them up. And we can kind of put it there like that. So that's cool. 
Um, I'm not sure what else we're going to build in here yet. So for now, we'll just do the lights like this. And just outside the door like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. All right. Electrical. Let's bring this all the way up into these cells and go out this way. At least we'll have electrical that way. We're also going to want to run the electrical this direction so that we can power... Uh, so we can do things with... Uh, with these rooms that we're going to make. So I don't think this is necessarily done yet. Yes, we still have steel to install. So this actually isn't built yet. Um, the foundation, I don't think, is finished. At least I don't think it is. I can't tell. Um, let's get the electricity up at least. And then I want these cells done so that I can copy the, the template. All right, going along the hot water lines here, we've got all that done, but we're going to need to provide um, warmth for this area too. So we'll take a radiator and pop it. I think the, the pipe is going up this wall, right? No, it's going right here, right there. So we'll take the we'll take and put it right there. And I really wish the radiator could be grouped with utilities. It's weird. I wish the radiator was grouped with utilities since it relies on the hot water pipes and you can't see the hot water pipes otherwise. And I wish that the door servos would be grouped with the items because it relies on placement of doors and you can't see the doors in utility view, right? Now you can see where the walls come in, but you can't see the doors. And so like, it's kind of weird. Like I can assume there's a door here, but I don't know there's a door here to where I absolutely know there's a door here. And I don't know which way the door opens. So if I like, if I'm picky, like I am, and I like my door servos to be positioned on the, like that way, right? So where the doors go into where the servo is, I don't want to place the servo here and have the door open there. It just looks funny to me. Um, but I can't tell anything about where the door is and how it's opening or positioned in utility view. So I, I just wish this was moved to the objects and I wish the the radiator was moved to uh, utilities because it just you, you always have to go back and forth to figure out where to position them. And like right now, <laughs> like where the hell is my radiator? It's right there. OK, cool. I can't see it simultaneously with my water pipes. It's just a little odd that way. Uh, so the water pipe's going to come up. Um, like this, and then again, you wouldn't be able to be like, oh, where was my, where's my radiator again? I don't know where it is. That's, it's weird. Uh, I'm gonna hope it's here, right? Well, I know it's there now, but you, you wouldn't be able to tell exactly where that's positioned unless you went to objects and then you could see it. So yeah, it's the same thing. I just wish those two things were reversed. All right, 27k. How's our power doing now? We've got a lot of production. Oh yeah, look at this, 5,800 5, units power production. So we're wasting this, right? I mean, the whole prison could likely be powered by this single transformer, probably, right? But uh, we're gonna be wasting a lot of the power that we're generating now because we can only export a maximum of 5,000 power. So at this point, this is all waste. All the energy being generated here is completely wasted. So th that's why you kind of have to go to another transformer and you can spread it out, which is what we're going to do. Uh, once we need to, once we, once I need more power, as we expand the prison, we'll start to redistribute a lot of the wind power that we've already built, the solar that we've already built. We'll start to move it around and create this sort of uh, segmented grid because you can just move these pretty easy. You just say move and you move it away. And we, we're going to do that. Um, so that way we try to itemize it or we try to... We're going to try to sort of spread it out and uh, distribute power so that we have 5,000 export units, but we're also not overproducing for the transformer um, to this extent. I want to try as best as possible to reach 5,000 and hit 5,000 as close to midnight as possible, if that makes sense. Okay, so uh, we got harvesting. I haven't, I didn't see them run. No, I knew you guys knew it. You knew I was going to miss it. We'll we'll see these things run for sure. They'll, that'll eventually happen. Um, they're nice. <laughs> All right, we have these. All I need to do now is build the doors. And they're going to be these white doors. And we're going to have them open that direction. And we could probably go ahead and 
and lock that in. And then we're going to want to make sure that our water pipes are running down like this and like this, right? And then most likely straight over like this. And then basically the water pipes need to go just like this. And this simplifies your water system by lining up your toilets. There we go. And your showers, toilets and showers, right? Uh, and then, you know, we can provide hot water for the showers too. We have a radiator here. We could do that. I, I think we're probably gonna need the, uh, we'll, we'll just do it the same way. Um, it's a little bit wasteful to do it this way um, because realistically, all I would need to do is go down just near the door here um, and then up and near the door here. But it's actually pretty much the same amount of piping to do it down the middle and just go over because um, you are you don't have to, the sideways on both sides you just have the sideways one way but you have upwards more more so it's it's basically going to equal out and be the same so we're going to go like this like this and we'll just do this whoops not there like that like that like that like that and all the way down with hot water pipes too now i don't know whether or not the hot water is going to be able to reach it. I think this water boiler is too far away. So most likely what we'll do is we'll put another boiler over here and uh, or or over here and we'll have the pipes run in this way to connect, connect the whole dots. But I won't know exactly how far that can go until I see it set up because otherwise it, you know, either the pipe turns red or it doesn't. I could count it. You know, I know that they go a certain distance. I could count it. I'm just not going to. It's, it's pointless. I'm just going to let it happen. And it's, I need the pipes there anyway. So whatever. Although... This is a bit weird and a bit unnecessary. Um, we could say that this pipe is unnecessary. And uh, in that case, we would want to just come down this way. Yeah, so this is not quite lined up, but whatever. Ding, ding. Uh, they smell bad, apparently. That's good. <laughs> okay, we want to lay this in. So we're going to go to quick build clone drag all this out and we're just whoops hang on drag it like this from here drag it from here and go oh, you won't let me why 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 can't i build that that's weird hang on this guy's destroying his cell can i get orderlies to be over here please orderlies need to be in here not here get over here orderlies Protect my workers. Guy's going nuts. Okay, we got him in a cell. That's good. We'll get him in lockdown in his cell. And let everybody come and do their thing. I think I can't build this because of the boxes. That doesn't make sense, though. Maybe it's because... I do wish clone would clone utilities, too. But I kind of understand why it doesn't. So, if we could have two cloning modes... One that clones only the stuff above the ground and one that closes that clones the stuff above and also the utilities. That would be really cool. Because then I wouldn't need to lay all these pipes out. I could just have the template for the plumbing already done here too and electrical and then just copy that everywhere. All right, so this is done. So we're gonna go bop, 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 bop. No, can't, I... oh, what? Oh, okay, so. I'm not allowed to do this in lo as long as the plumbing is still queued. Okay. And we're good. That takes care of all the cells we need for now. Then we want the psychiatrist offices. Now, I'm wondering what the template for this looks like. Because I know there's a template for this. At least I think there's a template for this. Yeah. Template for psychiatrist office. Okay. Um, I mean, it's cool. It's a little wasteful, though. I don't necessarily like how wasteful it is. So instead, we're just gonna go ahead and do it ourselves. So psychiatrist's office, we're gonna go like this. And when I say wasteful, I kind of mean by space. Like it's a little wasteful for the space. Three, we want three offices. Uh, the first thing we're gonna want is office desks in each one. And I'm okay with the office desk being actually in the front of the office. So let's kind of go like this. You know what? We'll just we'll build one and we'll copy it over. They're the same dimensions. So 
Uh, so we do this one here, and then I I'm going to splurge a little bit and give them this chair. But I think um, instead, what we're going to do is move this one over to here. Let's just do that instead. Let's just move this stuff. Move this to here. Move this over to here. Move this filing cabinet. Uh, we can put that like maybe right here. And then this couch, this wide sofa, move that to here. <clears throat> and then they all have lights and stuff already, so whatever. Um, so we'll get that done. And then I want to also go ahead and get the walls and stuff built. We're going to put the, the door right in the middle of the office. So they come in from this side like this. Yeah. Uh, and so we'll copy this design over to the next place too. And then we're going to put it behind a door because we I think we have to. I think we have to. Um, this staff door can get dismantled. That's no big deal. That's not set up to the door controller. Actually, it is. There's just nobody at the door controller, right? Uh, it's actually both. Okay. Well, both are true. Um, we probably need more guards then. Staff morale is still at 100%. I do like that. Let's um, let's get a couple more guards, and then maybe a couple more orderlies, and then um, let's go one janitor and two gardeners, and I think we have enough workmen. Did I just click? I did. I meant to right click. I left click. Whatever. You can have. You can be hired two workmen. Whatever. Hmm. <sighs> Cash flow is looking schmexy. Our debt is not, but I mean, once we get these done, we'll just pay the debt off. It's fine. And then we have more than enough meals for the prisoners, so we're good there. We just need to produce 10 compost fertilizer. Produce 10 fertilizer. I don't know how you produce it. I'm going to look at that. Because I thought that... I thought that by getting compost, we'd be able to save a, a portion of it and stuff, but I'm not entirely sure. Gonna have to look at that, guys. And actually, you know, I think there was a comment. If I remember reading, I try to read all the comments, but uh, it's getting to the point in my channel, unfortunately, where I can't, I can't usually read everybody's yet. Um, like reading every single comment would result in me having very little time for other things, like including making more videos. It's getting close to that, but I try to read as many as I can. Um, like, I might be at 95%. But anyway, I remember somebody saying that they couldn't quite... I might be butchering this. They, they couldn't quite figure out how the compost bins work, and they wanted to see how I did it. Um, and uh, good. <laughs> good. I feel good about this. Uh, I have one collected. It says one collected, and I thought it was because we've already bought compost. But I, I'm starting to think that it doesn't work like I thought it does. So I'm going to have to look at that. And uh, maybe I can get an explanation for you that makes sense. And uh, we can come back at another video in the future, near future, hopefully. And I'll be like, this is how you do it. And then you'll know. Uh, but for now, I'm actually at a loss myself exactly how that works. Um, I, I assumed that using compost, you'd be able to keep a portion of it. But um, there might be a way to produce this that I just don't see at the moment. Um, at the moment, though, because, see, like, I've already bought compost, but we have four in storage. Like, where did that four come from, right? Uh, small chance at dropping seeds. I mean, I didn't buy it and then decide not to plant it, did I? I don't remember doing that. Um, but, like, compost, right? So we just go, boom. And we spend, like, $2,400 on this. Why? Why do that unless there's a risk? Unless there's a... Like, t spending $250 on this is why i think compost sucks spending 250 dollars on a single whoops hey can i scroll here thanks on, on a single plot right or i guess in this case it's a hundred dollars on a single plot just to get a 25 percent increase in speed on their growth that's a hundred dollars for that one seed right and we're talking what's the plant corn so if i look over and go to corn it's 150 but we get 10 seeds for that, right? So there's a chance by spending $100, there's a chance that your one crop 
might give you one seed. And you're going to spend $100 on that chance. As opposed to spending $150 for guaranteed getting 10 seeds. It just, it just doesn't make sense to, to use the fertilizer. It just seems like it's not balanced. Um, and then maybe I'm off base. Maybe, maybe there's a chance that the one crop will spawn five seeds or something. And in that case, eh, maybe if it's a high chance, which the high quality fertilizer is a high chance. Um, but the high quality fertilizer is also 250 and they gain a 50% increase in speed, which is good. That's fine. They're going to be able to be harvested one quarter faster, right? Let's, let's, let's take that math into account. It's not a hundred percent speed increase. You're not doubling the rate of growth. You're only increasing the rate of growth by 25% total. And you're spending $250 on that, getting a higher chance of dropping seeds. How many seeds does it drop? I don't know. I wish I knew how many seeds it dropped, um, but it just says seeds. So uh, getting the answers to those questions would be really important in figuring out whether or not using compost is even worth it. Because I'm not entirely sure it is, and I haven't been using it very much um, as a result. Um, and then it would be also nice if the compost would be auto-applied. So like if I, I, I think they are doing it here though. See compost fertilizer right here. See, it's, it's still here. It's still here. So wait, now, does is it persistent then? Because if it's persistent, that that makes sense. But I don't see it here. And I've applied compost. You guys saw it. I applied compost to everything in here, right? And now I'm only seeing, I'm seeing that it's stuck here, right? So there's a chance that it stays. Maybe how long does it stay? That'd be another question to have is how long does that stuff stay? Because I don't actually know. I don't have the answers for you. I wish I did. Um, yeah. Can we have people on cameras? Thanks. And people are on doors. Good. Now I just need all this stuff built. And it's taking a while. So I'm going to say, workmen, this is your priority now. All right, stop. We're bringing in 10 criminally insane, okay? Not quite ready yet, but we're bringing them in. So we, what we want to do here is I want to get the rooms like this. So you're going to go in this office. And we're going to hire another psychiatrist. Hi. And we're going to make sure that this office is copied to here. So we're going to take the cloning tool and we're going to go like so. And we're going to go like so and like so. Okay. And then this wall needs to be an actual brick wall, not, uh, not the fence. Okay. So that's what we've got so far on this. And then to get prisoners into here right now, we have to take them around, which is kind of weird. Um, I, I don't know how exactly I want this presented yet, but for the time being, just so it's not so weird, I'm just going to put a quick door right here just to let people in. Uh, and actually, yeah, just to, just to do that. Because otherwise, the prisoners actually have to go around like this. Actually, where are they going? They need to go out and around through here just to get to their meals, and that's a little weird. So we're going to put a little door right there, too, just to help out with that. But now we've... In, we've We've taken in 10 criminally insane inmates. We've hired two psychiatrists. We simply need their office done in order to satisfy this. And then we get paid $15,000 for all of that. In addition, by doing this, we're also raising our prisoner. Um, like how many prisoners we can hold. I don't think it's going to get us to the 100, but uh, it's going to get us close. And then uh, we'll get that grant too. So we're, we're working on it. It's going to get there. And uh, this wing is pretty easy. You know, it's it's not it's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure this is going to be our canteen, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have another kitchen right here that serves that canteen, and it'll be just out here, so we can have like one of these. But instead, it'll be kind of over here. So why don't we just get that started now? Because I'm pretty pretty sure I'm doing that. Um, we can go maybe. Um, do I just do it like this? Maybe I just do it like this. It doesn't need to be a big one. This the small one here actually probably works just fine. This will be our kitchen. Uh, and then we probably want a little pantry for it too. So we can also extend this and maybe put like a little pantry right here. I don't remember how big pantries have to be, but this should work just fine. And then we can also get the, the produce and stuff that's generated will be sent to here. So we don't have to buy our own food. I don't want to have food coming in on trucks. Um, I, I want to produce all of our own food organically and be completely self-sufficient that way. So if we could do that, that'd be awesome. 
and automatic fertilizer. This is how it is. Okay, automatically choose whether you'd like to automatically purchase fertilizer or not and the quantity level of it. Yeah, see, I still don't know if that's if that's necessary. So like learning how long fertilizer lasts because I do see it here. And uh, I don't s actually, wait a minute. Now I see it here, but I don't see crops here. Are the potatoes not being planted here? Maybe this is what's why. This, maybe this is why. Are the potatoes... Yeah, potatoes are not queued up to automatically be planted here. That's why the compost still exists. Because nothing's actually being planted. Huh. That sucks. Get that done. Uh, this is carrots. So we'll get those laid in too. Carrots. Hi. Carrot plants. Here, here, and here. And that's it, I think. Yeah. And then those crops will grow pretty fast. Okay. Cool. Well, all right then. So, Criminally Insane Wing is kind of getting there. We're almost done with it. And then uh, we just have to get all the other stuff set in. I will do that. Get the um, the canteen set up here. Get the kitchen set up there. And uh, when we come back, I think we'll start working maybe on this one. And I also want to complete... Um, oh, look at the oranges. Nice. I want to get all the oranges um, moved over. It would be really nice if we could auto-gather oranges, wouldn't it? Can we do any like auto gathering? Like uh, advanced auto gatherer. It collects every six hours together all ingredients with a 10 by 10 area. Oh, you know, like maybe, but not. No, it doesn't work here. It can only be at outdoors, it says, but it doesn't look like I can place it anywhere. Um, aside from maybe in a vegetable allotment, because it doesn't work here. So you, can't, you can't use these with orchards, unfortunately. So we're just going to need prisoners to work here. And that requires people to be trained for it. There's seven qualified prisoners. So maybe they're working in the fields. I don't know. We'll see. Come on back for the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. Any support you have for the video, like liking, commenting, all that stuff, I really do appreciate it. It helps out a ton. Thanks. We'll see you. Bye.